Hello guys, welcome back to Insel Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at how does an analog watt meter really works. So for the demonstration, here I have a Philips made 60 watt ordinary incandescent light bulb. And when I turn it on, you will see the meter displaying the power consumption of this device in an analog format. Now I'm not making proper connection, that's why it's showing different different readings. But when I get it properly connected, you will see the meter is actually displaying 70 watts. Now it is a 60 watt light bulb, but don't get it wrong. This is actually because I'm keeping the meter in a funny angle. The meter is perfectly fine. It's a calibrated meter and it will display 60 watts if I keep it perfectly vertical, which you will see in a different uh, part of this video. So basically this is how it is operated. This is what being used before the age of digital dis readout displays. So at the back, here is a connection diagram. It says connection diagram for single phase watt slash power factor meter. It has four terminals, which you can see, and it is mentioned as M, L, C, and V. So here's a basic connection diagram for you. And M and L is for the current readout. C and V is for the potential or voltage terminal. It says CT operated, and you can see a coil uh, being represented in the phase line. So here is how you have to connect it. So basically C and V are the terminals which we use for uh, measuring the voltage and M and L is the terminal we use for measuring the current. Alright, so now let's move on to the teardown of this unit. Now these two clips on the sides are actually used to keep the meter in place when it is being mounted in a panel. So that is what is used to hold this meter in place without moving. The other two screws are also used for uh, keeping the whole thing in place. Now the case is being opened, you can see. The inside looks really beautiful now at first glance it may look like you know a lot complicated but believe me it's very simple i'll put proper uh, circuit diagrams in place whenever it is necessary but first let me show you how it looks you can see there is an inner coil and an outer coil the inner coil is attached to the needle and you can see as i move the uh, needle the inner coil is also getting rotated there are a couple of resistors in place there is a ct coil and first let's see what is in connected to C and V. So there is a 1K 2 watt resistor going in series with a 15K 20 volt resistor. And the remaining uh, wire from the resistor is going straight to one end of the inner voltage coil. Now the inner coil is also known as voltage coil and you can see where the wire is going. That is connected to the one wire of that inner coil. So the voltage coil as it has two wires the remaining wire is this one and it is connected to the terminal named v so c and v is just a coil connected in series with two resistors and connected to c and v that makes the voltage coil now the voltage coil is being surrounded with two more coils which is the ct or current transformer coil so that is m and l so m and l is a set of coil it's a pair of coil it is basically connected in series with the AC mains. You can see it from the wiring diagram as well. It is one coil, you know, two coils connected in series. You can see one winding up on this side and the remaining is going straight to the other one. It is just a coil connected in series with the mains line. So whenever the power is on, first it has to go to the CT. Uh, from the CT it goes to the resistors. That means to the voltage coil. So I'll put proper pictures in the screen which will give you much more uh, understanding you know ex giving explanations like this is much more difficult but I will put a proper pictures on the screen right now and you can see when I turn it on the coil is actually being moved here what is happening is that the voltage coil is generating its own magnetic field because it is operating independent of the current coil it is just uh, connected in parallel to the voltage so it gets a voltage anyway it's being limited by those power um, resistors and the magnetic field generated by the voltage coil is being affected by the magnetic field generated by the surrounding current transformer coils. Now, because the current transformer is connected in series with the actual AC mains, it generates its own magnetic field, which affects the rotation of the uh, rotation or movement of the voltage coil. And it is in a way, it is calibrated or manufactured in a way that the uh, interaction between the magnetic field displays the actual power being consumed. And you can see now the display is showing exactly 60 watts 
as I said in the beginning, it is not the fault of the meter, it is because I kept it in a funny angle. Now that this is being kept perfectly vertical, it is displaying the full 60 watts of power. These kind of meters are available with many different uh, wattage ratings, even kilowatt ratings. Basically, it all works the same way. So that is how this thing works. Thank you for watching guys. See you in another video.